Listen, please. The, the, the Cooper and Anthony Show. Who is allowed to call you on a Sunday? <sighs> My kids. Uh huh. And you. And my mom, my mom, you, kids, that's it. Right. Yeah, that's how I feel also. You can call me on a Sunday, although you never would. But, you know, if you needed to. We text. If you're calling me, there's a reason. Yeah. Yeah, my mom, my dad, like my immediate family, Joe, my boyfriend. But even like my best friends don't call me on a Sunday. Mm. They could if something was going on, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They would never bother me on a Sunday. Never. Not in a million years. They're with their family or they're with, you know, whoever it is. They're banging in the mo- at the moment. Sunday is sort of the day to not have to deal with anyone or anything. In my, in my world, mm-hmm. it's immediate family. And like, you know, Joe can call me if I go to the supermarket, he can call and be like, you know, hey, get me some tortillas. But even that he'll text me. There is a woman that I know. I don't even know her that I know her from work. I like her. You don't know. Her, it's not it's not radio work. It's, a, mm-hmm. it's another yet another job that I do. She's your pimp. Yeah, she's my pimp. OK. I know her as my pimp. When I'm pimping, and I only pimp like, I only on get pimped Saturdays. like, not even Saturdays. I would say like once a month, not even that that much, you know. And I'm I'm doing a lot a lot less being pimped out. Mm-hmm. So I know her, but we're not like friends. I mean, we're friendly. I like her. She lives near me. If if she's around and she text me on like a Wednesday hey I'm in the neighborhood do you want to get a coffee that's okay on a Wednesday Mm -hmm. she's getting into this habit of calling me on Sundays this is like the third Sunday when when did this year start just like a month and a half ago Mm -hmm. she's already called me three times this year and it's always been on a Sunday and I you don't have to answer I, I know I don't answer okay but but the fact that she feels like she can continue to call me on a Sunday, like we're work buddies, you know, I don't, I don't know you socially. You can't call me on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. That, that's, that's God's day. You're not God. You know, there's, I just, I have a real problem with it. And it's always something like, oh, I was walking by your house and I thought, you know, hey, I'm in the neighborhood. We, maybe you can come out for a hello. That was, that was, you know, this week's. Mm. Last time it was, you know, some other BS thing that she was doing. Like, just it's a boundaries thing. And it, no, Sunday it really is fam- bothers me. Sunday is family day, louder milk day, and <laughs> the bear day. <laughs> That's what's going on in my life. It's either louder milk or the bear and family or football. If it's not football, then it's the bear. That's what I'm doing. Leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. But I would never call somebody on a Sunday. Again, I wouldn't even call one of my best girlfriends. She and I have plans coming up this week, and I don't know when they are exactly. We haven't quite. I'm going to call her tomorrow. I'm going to call her. You know, I'll call her during the week. I'm not calling her on a Sunday. Mm Mm-hmm. Unless you're a football player friends. or somebody in the Grammys or <laughs> or somebody on right. the bear, you can call me. But no, no, don't don't call me. I, I got things I got things planned in my head to do nothing all day. That's my but plan. Is that but so is it universal that people don't call each other on Sundays? Is it is, is it weird that she calls me on Sundays? I think it's weird. I, I think it's an age thing. I think it mean? depends how old they are, because if you're past a certain age, let's say you're over the age of 50, then you're going to call on Sunday because back in the day, we used to call on Sunday because it was cheaper. The phone call was cheaper on Sunday. Wait, and that's the bigger thing. Why is she even calling me? Who calls and not texts? Yeah, Wouldn't I don't you know. text first? You, unless I... Don't answer it. <laughs> Just let it I ring. Don't. I ne- listen, I never, not only do I not answer it, I immediately hit, you know, the ringer thing. So that way it just, it goes right to voicemail. So that right. way I don't even have to deal with her. But it just, this is the third time that I sent it right to voicemail and it's not 
dawning on her. And also, text me. Right. Nothing you're going to say to me is going to be that important. See, the no, problem and is, I don't though, want to she, talk. It, yeah, but if she does text me, she, she's going to expect a text back because who doesn't have their phone in their hand 24 7? Well, you, but everybody me. else yeah. has their phone in their hand 24 7. So when you text somebody, if you don't respond immediately, then they're obviously ignoring you. Mm hmm. Good. Then maybe she'll get the hint. Leave me alone. Call me on a Thursday. Yeah. That's the day that that's the day you can call. But any other day, Sunday's my day. Saturday and Sunday are my day. I want to call her back at like the most like eleven o'clock at night on a Wednesday. Like she's got right. little kids, and I know that they'll be asleep by then. You know, I want to wake them. <laughs> I want to call her at like eleven o'clock <laughs> oh, at night. Oh, I'm sorry. On Wednesday. Are you sleeping? I just woke up and I and I saw that you called. I called three days ago. I know. I just I I just now looked at my phone. Sorry. You're like when's an inconvenient time for me to call her? Yeah, at 10 o'clock. At 9. 9 o'clock. Nine, 9 or 10 on a weekday. When she's putting the kids to bed. Putting the kids to bed. 9 o'clock yeah. on a weekday are kid days. That's the time you're putting the kids to bed. So call her back and say, you know what? I just went through all my missed calls and I saw your missed call and I decided to call you back. That's when I'm returning the call. Thank you.